Hello, welcome back by part 4 of this video tutorial How to build a Pac-Man game in XNA Please don't forget to buy the content Send 2.95€ to Paypal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com We send the content in 24 hours to your email address In the previous tutorial we have finished our Pac-Man class and in this tutorial we're going to start building the Coves class. So go to Project Add Class Coves.cs The first thing we need to do is copy the block the block with the using statements and hide it. So now we're going to build the constructor for the coast class we derive from the object class so public coasts and we need a factor 2 for the position and a string for the texture name right the coast constructor the position of the ghosts on the screen the texture name of the ghosts set the texture name Texture name is texture name. Set the position. Position is pos and set is a live flag default true. For now, is alive is true. Okay, it's almost the same as the Pac-Man class. Constructor and region. Okay. And with this done, we go to the items class and first we create a new cost variable public static cost and we call him blinky represents the red ghosts okay and then we go to the initialize methods object list adds blinky is new ghost and new factor 2 we place it on 224 232 And now we're gonna need the textures for the coasts. So if you have by the contents and you unzip the content to your PC, you find two directories sound and sprites. Go to the sprites directory, and what we're gonna need is all the coasts one. This is the coast blue one, the coast orange one. Oh, the ghost red one and the ghost pink one so now we have four of them could be and we're gonna paste them in the sprites directory in the content projects paste so now we have the four ghosts and we need the red one first ghost red one 
Okay, let's see how it works. That's nice. Only the Pac-Man is in the way again. So let's put him... That's 150. So The next ghost is Pinky. So public static ghosts Pinky represents the pink ghost. And here we do an object list adds. So it's not gonna work as I want, so and then it's pinky is new ghost new factor 2 and we place it on 224 288 and of course it is the ghost pink 1 the next ghost is the blue ghost public static ghosts and we call an inky represents the light blue ghost okay Object list dot adds inky is new ghost new factor two and we place it on one nine two and two eight eight and it is the ghost blue one and finally public static ghosts we call them clients represents the orange ghosts Okay. At at Clyde's is new cost new factor two two five six two eight eight. Okay, and that is the ghosts orange one okay add the ghosts first to the object list so they are drawing first. Okay. Then add the Pac Man to the object list. So Pac Man is on top when drawing. All right? Mm -hmm. Initialize. Okay. Well, let's see how it looks like when we run. And that's nice. For now, we have 
one Pac-Man and four ghosts on the screen. I'm gonna leave the tutorial here. In the next tutorial, Pac-Man is gonna move. Okay, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.